Hey, this is Taylor from KB Foam Strike, and today we're going to be checking out this box here that I was sent from Extreme Toys. So they contacted me, and full disclosure, this is an item I was sent for free. I didn't pay anything for this. I wasn't paid. This is not an endorsement whatsoever, but just a review and an unboxing of their Task Quick System Foam Dart Blaster. They sent me an email and said, hey, would you like to check out this blaster? I said, sure, let's take a look at it. With that being said, my opinions are my own. I'm gonna be totally unbiased. If there's something I like about it, I'll be sure to tell you. And if there's something I don't, I'll share that with you as well. So this box here feels pretty heavy. They told me they were gonna send a blaster and a couple of accessories. So let's just go ahead and slice this thing open, see exactly what they sent us. And here we have it. Looks like we got quite a few things to check out. We got a couple of boxes in here. It looks like four different boxes, a couple different sizes. Not really sure exactly what's in these, but here we go. This is probably one of the accessory kits. And looks like we have another one with the same size. Has a lot of cool artwork on it, like some stocks, some darts, some drums, some magazines. And we got a smaller box, possibly some darts, and this one different color. I'm gonna guess that's the blaster inside of this one. Feels a lot heavier than the other one, so. More than likely, that's what we got here. All right, so I'm gonna start out with this orange one. We'll take a look of exactly what's inside of it. And checking out the box here, we got a little slip cover. We'll go ahead, take that off. And then it just folds up like a shoe box. And inside of here, looks like we got some instructions that are printed inside this. And then we just pop open the top and look at that. We got ourselves a nice looking yellow blaster. A couple of accessories in there, some darts. Looks like a stock. And let's go ahead, let's take a look at these. We got some suction darts. We have a stock here. And then we got a motorized blaster here. It's kind of like a modulus or a strife. And as you see here, it is the blaster. And down below that, we got a magazine here. It looks pretty cool. And then we got a couple of more darts in here. These are called sharp darts. And then we have a little accessory pouch that we can use for storing stuff in. And taking a quick look at these darts, first impressions, uh, the dart tip's a little hard, but it's not like a hard plastic tip. So we'll be taking a look at those here in a little bit. If I had to guess, I would say this is maybe some more darts, could just be nothing but darts, but let's take off the little slip cover and let's pop the top, see what we got. All right, we got another pouch and some darts, okay. So this is not just darts, but looks like we get some darts with this as well. And we got some of the attachments here. We got a barrel attachment. Looks like we got ourselves a flashlight of some type. We have a foregrip in here. And finally, we got a six dart magazine. All right, pretty nice. And we put everything back in here. Let's go ahead and check out this next kit. We take the slip cover off. Looks like all of them have instructions on the inside of it. So that's very nice. And ooh wee, this looks like this might be my favorite. So we got a couple more darts in here. We got two packs of darts. And then we got a familiar looking stock. This looks kind of like the lightning stock, one of my favorites. And we have a longer barrel attachment with this one included. We also have a foregrip. And ooh wee, we got a 20 round, sorry, 22 round magazine, all right. Finally, we got one more kit. Let's just slide that off and we'll pop the box open and see what we got going on with it. All right, a couple of more accessories. This one has a six dart magazine. We have a bipod, it looks like. We have some more darts, 20 darts in this one as well. We have another pouch. We have ourselves a sight, pretty cool. And we have a long barrel attachment. All right, I've never seen a shape like that, pretty cool. All right, so with everything here unboxed, we got everything, let's, uh, let's start putting some of this together. So let's check out this blaster here. We got some of these suction tip darts first, and these feel pretty nice. They're not hard tipped at all. And then let's take a look at these sharp darts real quick. So checking out the heads, there is some flex to them, uh, but it's a, it's a harder rubber tip dart uh, comparing it to something like an AF Pro head that I have here that's been ripped off. You can see this is a little bit more squishy. If I had to compare it, it'd be like, I don't know, maybe more jelly, whereas this is more like a like a rubber tip. It definitely does compress, but 
it might feel a little bit harder than say AF Pros. But with that out of the way, let's put those aside. We'll test them out later. And let's check out this magazine that we have here. It looks like uh, not too bad of a condition. We'll give it a little bit of flex. And it's making a little bit of a creaking sound. It looks like if you, you pull on a little bit too hard, it starts coming undone. So maybe not the best quality build, but still pretty good. Uh, it says it holds 12 rounds. So we'll put that to the test. Let's go ahead, let's load this thing up. So we got one dart, two, we'll just do a mixture here. Get some suction in there as well. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we'll go back to the sharp dart. Twelve. All right, so that's twelve already. It looks like we can fit some more. Thirteen, fourteen, and fourteen fits really comfortably. We might be able to get one more in. All right, so you can fit 15 darts in this. Definitely 14 comfortably. So that's a nice little bonus right there. You get three more darts. So let's check out this pouch here. Let's see if we can put our magazine or some darts in it. Uh, you could definitely fit a couple of darts in there. And then it's got a little belt loop as well as a clip that it comes with. So you can just clip that around that and then put that on like a keychain, or you could even attach it to your blaster on a sling point. So that's pretty cool. And you know, you can just put a couple extra darts in here if you want, or put your phone. Let's see, magazine even fits, but I don't know if I would use a big magazine like this because it could probably fall out, but you could always tuck this in and maybe fit two of these magazines if you had two of them in it. But definitely I'd say the six round magazines would fit a lot better with it closed. Next on, we're gonna check out the stock here. This one looks similar to a Recon Mark II stock and it's got two attachment points there. So that's really nice. That should be secure. And check out the blaster. The rev trigger feels normal but this has like a clicky micro switch trigger so i guess this thing is full auto it's uh very clicky let's look down in there yeah it looks like we got some type of gearbox down in there right there we got the battery holder then we got like a venting looking port we got some extra attachment points on each side two on the top one on each side and one on the bottom for a grip Let's go ahead, uh, let's grab this magazine. Let's see how it feeds in here. All right, goes in pretty smooth, not too bad. Seems to stay in there. Let's give it a little shake. Uh, it's holding on pretty good. And yeah, pulls out pretty smoothly. Holding on tight. Uh, but trying it with this hand, it kind of gets stuck a little bit. You gotta give it a little bit of force to get that one out. If you pull quickly, sometimes it, it won't come out as easily. You gotta kind of pull it a little extra hard. So a little bit of a, a sticking problem. I don't know if that has to me to do with like putting too many darts in the magazine, but whenever I use my grip hand to release the magazine, it seems fine. But when I use my off hand is when it has a problem. Up there, we got an extra sight that you can pop out that's built in. So that's pretty cool. And let's check out the stock. Let's see how this goes on here. Got to kind of wiggle it to get it on. It's a little tight fit to be honest. So, but once it's on, it's it's pretty solid. It doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. So not too bad right there. We got a jam door up here, a nice size jam door. So you can definitely get in there to the magazine if you have any problems and checking out the gearbox down here. This looks like the full auto mechanism that'll spin around and fire the dart out. Pretty sweet. All right, let's move on to the next accessory kit. We got some darts and let's go ahead and start building this thing up. Let's check out this barrel attachment. Looks like you just uh, put it on sideways, twist, and locks it in, just like any other blaster I've ever used, so that's pretty cool. And with that on, let's check out this foregrip here. And then we have a flashlight as well. So it looks like this has batteries included with it. We'll just pull this tab. Oh, whoa, there we go. It's a blue light. All right, that's interesting. Uh, it's kind of like a UV light. Uh, I gotta say those, this little push tab button on the back is kind of finicky, so. It looks like that's the only thing that does anything. Nothing else moves on it, it's just cosmetic, but pretty bright light. It's cool that it's a like a UV light. So we'll be testing that out later, but I noticed that the push trigger, it's a little, little finicky. It can also sometimes not really turn on, so you gotta little tap it a little bit, but looks like you can put that on any attachment point. Right now, we'll just stick it on the top, try it out. Yeah, there we go, looking good. Uh, we could even pull that off, you know, try it on the sides. See if it clicks in as well. All right, yeah, it looks like it's compatible on all the rails, so that's really cool. You can put that anywhere you want. 
uh, but on the bottom the rail for that is pretty tiny and uh, it's not gonna work so that's proprietary for the grips I would say but it looks like you can put the flashlight either on the sides or on the top and checking out the grip here looks like we put it in this way and it is a very 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 tight fit so I was definitely having some trouble putting this thing on kind of kind of wiggle it back and forth it's it's pretty tight and then eventually I got it and looking back at the footage this was put on backwards but it fits both ways so it's all good if I was running this thing I probably wouldn't use the foregrip it's not really my favorite and then checking out the magazine here pretty good build quality as well not too much flex but I would still be careful if you're playing on like a hard concrete outside or something like that dropping your mags they could you know pop open but here this thing does fit six darts depending on how squishy your darts are you might be able to get seven in it but we'll just leave that as it is and move on to the next accessory kit here we got the bipod and it looks like that's gonna fit in right on the bottom as well and that fits a lot smoother much easier to get that on and off than it was the foregrip and then you can just fold up the little feet here and then say you get a, a table you can just swing it down prop up your blaster like that really nice pretty cool and then we have a, another six dart magazine and feels like the same build quality not too bad on that and checking out this barrel attachment it's a pretty cool design I like that but one thing I'm noticing that I'm not liking is all these attachments are just gray and black so it'd be nice if the tips of those were orange as well because once you put it on you lose your orange tip here we got the sight it's kind of like a scope looking sight but going back to talking about those barrels you could always just get some orange tape and put it around it or take like an orange marker so it's not really too big of a deal uh, but this thing is already looking pretty cool putting the scope on it and bipod here let's hop on this stock again and yeah this thing's looking pretty sweet but yeah if you're using this thing say at home or like in your backyard not too big of a deal but if you go to like a public place to play i would definitely get some orange Moving on to the next set, we got an awesome stock here. Uh, build quality, it's uh, it's pretty lightweight, and it definitely has some flex. You can see here when I push on it, it's almost wanting to split in half. So not as strong as like the original stock that I have, but still a really nice one. I'd say it's comfortable, but here, even smacking it, it's not falling apart. So it should do the job as far as making your blaster more steady. And I gotta say, whenever I was using this, this was my favorite stock to be having on it. It's much longer and it fits a lot more comfortable up against the shoulder. There is some wiggle to it right there, but it's not coming unlocked. And then we got the longer barrel attachment that this uh, kit comes with as well with that long stock. And once again, the entire thing is gray. So if I was using this say out in public, I would definitely put some orange tape around the tip of that. And then it has the exact same foregrip as the other kit. Looks the exact same to me but we'll try it out and see if it fits any better. Take off the bipod, try sliding this thing on. I gotta say though, this was definitely the most hard attachment to get on and off. So once you put this on, also it covers up your battery tray. So just keep that in mind if you are gonna put that on this blaster that your battery tray screw you won't be able to get to as easily and then finally in here we have the 22 round mag here it says 22 on both sides and we'll test that out but oh look at this whenever i was taking a look at it for flexing this little piece slid right off so i don't know if that was intentional or if that was an accident that that came off so i'm not really sure but you also have these little clips that you can undo and do like maintenance on your mag if you have to clean it out if it gets dirty you know using old darts or anything like that but I did notice some significant flex in this. As you can see right there, the whole feeder just started popping out. So if you end up getting this mag and using it, I would definitely be a little more careful and cautious with it if you're doing like mag drops. But for the most part, it feels pretty solid. And I'm gonna just slide this piece right back on to keep it on there. But you know, it seems like it's pretty good. Uh, looking back at the original mag that came with the blaster box, I'm seeing if this has like a similar thing that slides off, but that thing seems solid like it ain't coming off. That looks all right, but checking out the darts, uh, something to note, they give you a 22 round mag, but only 20 darts. But if you end up getting the blaster, you're gonna have 60 darts, so it, it works out. But if you just get that kit alone, you won't have enough darts to fill it up. 
Just something to keep in mind. It'd be nice if they had three packs of darts in there, just have some extras, but checking out the mag, it holds in there quite nicely, even though it's a big heavier mag. It's nice to know that it's not gonna fall out and this thing comes out and feeds a lot easier than the included mag. It, it's really easy to just push the button and it drops right out. So checking out the original mag again, real quick. You can see it kind of sticks and there I had a dart pop out and trying it one more time. Sometimes it gets stuck, sometimes it comes right out. And then I noticed that there is a different texture between the two mags. So this one has a little more of like a rough texture, a little more grip, and then this one's slightly smooth uh, when comparing the two magazines. Uh, both designs are pretty cool, but if I had to prefer one over the other, it'd be the smaller mags because the, the texture on it's a little bit easier to grip it. But comparing the two here, not too bad, pretty good. And then all these accessories are supposed to be compatible with Nerf blasters as well. So here I got my HVZ Strife and sticking them against each other, you can see the yellow blaster. It's not too much bigger than the Strife. Their grips are pretty similar, very comfortable on the Task Quick blaster. So checking out the stock here on my Strife, it clicks into place nicely. There is a little bit of wiggle to it, but it feels like it's not going anywhere. And checking out the mags, that thing slides in there nicely. It's not coming out, it's holding on real tight. And it feeds out a lot easier than it did on the Task Quick Blaster. So I don't know if uh, this mag in particular just has an issue catching on the Yellow Blaster or not, but it's feeding very nicely in the Blue Strife. And checking out the 22 mag, a lot heavier of a mag. So let's see how that works. And doing a little shake test, it's not coming out, wiggling it side to side, back and forth, like if I'm running seems to stick in there and once again it drops very nicely so if you just want to end up getting the stock and, and magazine combos you know those things will work with a strife that's really cool to know uh checking out the flashlight let's see if the attachments work as well oh yeah look at that very nice and then see once again i was saying like the button sometimes it won't register fully but there we go once it's on it pretty much stays on uh and checking out my favorite stock here making sure it's nice and locked in now that's a sharp looking blaster there, if I do say so myself. And going back to the foregrip, I uh, don't really have, you know, the best hopes of this thing fitting. As you can see, it's, it's pretty tight on these, but if you do end up using this, that's about as far as you can do it to actually fold the grip back. And once it's on, it's a little difficult to get off. So the foregrips aren't really my favorite part of these kits. So once I get this off, I'm gonna probably just store those away but so far, everything else, I gotta say, not too bad. Let's check out the bipod. Let's see how that works out on here. See if we can get that to slide on as well. You gotta kind of rock it back and forth and that's about as far as you can get it. Just the tip of the attachment rail, but it still slides up and it doesn't get in the way of your magazine too much. So if you wanted to end up using that, that's another attachment that could work. And then I have some high hopes for these. Those fit on pretty well on the barrel attachment. So not too bad. Looks like it's uh, gonna work out pretty good if you just wanna get some of these attachments and use it with your strifes or anything like that. This is the only blaster I ended up testing it with, but later on I went back and I tried a stock on the Retaliator. The included stock worked, but the longer stock didn't because the Retaliator has like that plunger tube sticking out. So keep that in mind. Definitely works for just the plain Nerf attachment points that are just a square and don't have like a rod sticking out but here i am putting some more attachments on it and yeah this looks pretty sharp pretty cool but this longer barrel here i noticed it uh didn't really want to sit on all the way so that barrel not the best for the strife probably and checking out some nerf attachments with the task quick blaster looks like magazines are working nice and smoothly so that's good to know and checking out one of my favorite stocks here, the Raider stock. Let's see if we can get that thing on there. It's a little tight fit to get it on, but once it's on, it's on. It doesn't feel like it's going anywhere either. So that's really nice to know. You can use some of your stocks that you already own if you end up just wanting to get this blaster. Now that we took a look at all the attachments, I'm gonna grab myself some AA batteries and get this thing running. All right, we got six double A's and this thing is purring. Check out the full auto. That's some fast rate of fire right there. We'll see if it can keep up just running on double A's if the darts jam up at all. But 
pretty sweet to have a full auto package in this type of form factor. We're gonna try out this 22 and see how it does. And that's not too bad, 22 darts coming right out. A couple of little hiccups in there, but not too bad. All right, now let's get some chrono data, my favorite. So we're gonna check out these sharp darts on the blaster. This footage right here is at two times speed because I'm just gonna fully rev and pop off one shot. And with six of those darts, we're averaging 91.5 feet per second. So moving on to the suction tip darts, same thing, popping off one shot after full revs. And once again, we're getting around 90 FPS. That's not too bad. Pretty, pretty good performance. Next up, I have the 12 round mag full of darts and we're gonna try out the full auto here. And you can see it definitely gets bogged down if you do full auto. So that one, it's double reading a couple of darts. Wasn't 20 shots exactly, but it says we're averaging around 67.5 FPS. Some shots in the 70s, high 70s, but couple in the 60s as well so something to keep in mind and the rate of fire there 341 rounds a minute next up I want to try out some adventure force waffles and once again just revving and popping off one shot even though this thing's full auto it's pretty easy to get one shot off and checking out here we're averaging 89.2 fps so not too bad a couple of darts almost hitting 100 and now my favorite darts nowadays I've been using these watermelon chili darts from dart zone and getting some really nice performance on this Averaging 95.2, much, much better, pretty good. And finally, I'm gonna try out a full auto mag of these watermelon chilies, and we're gonna see if we get a drop in performance at all once we're going full auto. Oh yeah, so on the first shot, we're getting like the, the high number like we were before, 99 as you can see here, but as it goes on, the motors are kind of bogging down because of the current just from double A's isn't that strong. And you can see 99, 87, 81, and then it just stays in the 70s. But full auto, 77 FPS, that's still better than stock elite numbers. So pretty, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that performance. Next up, we're going to try out some target practice. We got this laundry basket here on a door from about 40 feet away. First shot just to test and yeah, popping off a couple of shots and then right into the basket pretty nice performance going straight next up we got a 22 here we're gonna do a little bit of full auto and you can see those darts starting to kind of fall short and once we go back to just popping up one shot it's going much faster pretty straight nice right there on the target hitting nicely getting right in the basket on a couple of them and this thing's really fun to just like burst fire like maybe two or three or just pop off one shot and just like that we're done with 22 rounds man this thing's pretty quick and lastly we're gonna try out some of these suction tip darts and popping off just one shot at a time it's going pretty hot so it's got a little bit too much power but we're getting right in there into the basket do a little bit of full auto there we go we got one stuck on the wall and then as you can see once it goes full auto it kind of bogs down a little bit it falls a little bit shorter but I like this stock. I like this blaster so far. Let's go down here on the range and see what we got. We got this dart here sticking nicely. So the suction tip darts, they, they definitely work. And we got a lot of carnage just chilling here in the floor. Let's take a look in here. And yeah, man, we got quite a few hitting inside of the target. A bunch hit the target and bounced off as well. And then a fun little feature here. Later on, I shot some of these watermelon darts and I turned off the lights and was using the flashlight weirdest thing it does like a uv thing and it just points out the tips really well so say you're playing at night or in like the dark or something like that i feel like this light's really going to help you find your darts a little bit better especially these green tip ones from dart zone so this thing's a lot of fun i gotta say i was quite surprised at the performance from it very very nice i want to say thanks again to extreme toys for sending this out to me for review purposes and there was quite a few things i liked about it but a couple of quirks that weren't really the best the grip being one of them, but I really love that mag. I like the full auto nature of this blaster and that form factor. The stock's really nice. A lot of cool things to like about this package. So if you're interested, you can check them out on Amazon and grab yourself one too. And that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead, like, share, comment, subscribe if you want. And boy, I can't wait to take this thing out to a game and try it out. If you'd like to see that, make sure you're subscribed. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.